everyone and welcome to another Excel chat walkthrough video. I'm your host Kevin Kelly. Today we're just going to be talking about how to calculate the percent of a goal. So without further ado, let's get right into it. This is a super quick and simple Excel formula, um, really kind of a common sense type of formula, but we're going to do it here for you. Uh, so you have a number of sales and you have your goal. So in the first case of Alabama, we're going to say our goal was 100,000. Our total sales was 65,954. Uh, what percent of our goal did we reach? Really simple formula equals our sales over our goal enter. 66%, always make sure that you're highlighting your column at least and hitting percentage and it'll put it into uh, percentage terms for you. Otherwise it's gonna come out as a decimal and obviously we want it displayed uh, in terms of percentage. And the way that we deal with this is just Take it here and then drag it all the way down. No need to anchor because it's just going to follow the formula. Now, as you can see here, negative 300% obviously is not the case uh, in this scenario. So we see our goal was negative 500,000. Obviously, why would you ever have a negative goal? That's never actually going to be the case. But uh, just for this example, I'm going to show you how to use another formula. So if uh, your goal is negative and then let's say you exceed sales by a huge amount, uh, and you were predicting negative 500,000, but instead you made or you sold uh, 1.5 million. Uh, here's how we're going to type in the formula. We're going to equals uh, parentheses here, actual sales minus our goal, which remember is negative, over the absolute value. So all we have to do here is just use absolute value of the goal plus one, enter. And as you can see, uh, in reality, our goal was negative. And since we made so much money at 1.5 million, it is actually 500% of the goal that we set out at negative 500,000. Again, not really a realistic uh, scenario, but just in case you see any negative numbers, that's how you would deal with them. Just use an absolute value. So that being said, thank you for tuning into this video and check out the full article at Excel chat. And we hope to see you next time. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel chat.